Hey guys, we are headed to run errands. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. I didn't vlog up until now because, oh, it's so freaking hot. Um, just because I was doing clerical stuff at work. I woke up, took a shower, watched a couple of TV shows, you know how that goes. And then I got to working on my orders. So every order that I had open and pending is now complete and is on his way to the post office. So that I knew I had to do because tomorrow I work and I knew I probably wouldn't do it tomorrow. So, um, yeah, just being real. So I got all my orders done. So I need to swing by the post office. I have a huge long to-do list today, including going to Walmart which and the bank, which I think I'm going to, shoot, I probably should have gone to the post office first. I'm in the opposite direction, okay. Um, I guess I'll go to Walmart and then the post office and then the bank if I have time because I can always run to the bank another day this week. That's not a huge deal. But the post office and Walmart have to happen today. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm like resting the camera on the <laughs> wheel. So every time I turn, it's, it's uh, turning with it. But I'm in on the best car, which I absolutely hate driving just because it's very low to the ground and I've driven an SUV for the last four years now and it's really hard especially being pregnant to get in and out of this car I just I'm having a hard time so I hate driving it however it was for a good cause because we had so many clothes that we were donating between all of us and my family and then between my mom and my grandma and everything. There's a lady that Andres works with that her family lives in Mexico and they can't afford clothing and stuff and so she sends things to them. And so he went and there was like huge, like two big old boxes, like four of those large outside trash bags and a couple kitchen trash bags full of clothes. Good clothes, like things that could have definitely been resold. It just, it's not even worth it. Her family needs it more. So it was for a good cause that he had to take my car because that stuff would not have fit in his car. But now I have to drive his car. Oh, and I forgot to mention we had lunch, leftovers. We finished up the Sloppy Joe mix and some of the um, flautas that Andres had made the other night. So it's always nice to get leftovers finished up too. And I'm hoping to get a lot of my errands run today. Wish me luck. First off, Walmart. Got my little one pushing the cart. Pushing the cart. <laughs> and she's super excited. It's one of those small ones. And then I brought my planner so I know what I need to get. What will they come up with next? I had really no intention on looking for school clothes today or just clothes in general, but they have a bunch of stuff on clearance, like some cute things on clearance. So I think I'm just gonna take a look around and then see if I can pick up a few things for cheap and then I kind of wanted to go to like Old Navy or Target for the remainder of her clothes but I thought three bucks, five bucks, you can't beat that. So what I thought was just going to be a few things ended up being probably about 25 items because there were so many good things on clearance. I didn't pick up everything in clearance. I'm having her try on some stuff that's not clearance right now. It's like $10 a dress which is still really reasonable but I, so far we've only tried on three things and we've been three for three. So like this, this is not a clearance item, but it's super cute. And this is actually a size four or five because I wanted her to be able to wear it with like leggings because it's actually meant to be a dress and I picked it up in every, every color that it was offered in. So I don't know. I will be doing a back to school clothing haul for sure at some point on this channel. So look forward to that sneak peek at what all we got some dresses a whole ton of dresses like I'm even planning for next summer <laughs> with our trips and stuff because those are super cute and they're only three bucks like I cannot get over that clothes down there whole bunch of stuff like I picked up every single color bow they had but like I said I will have a definite haul it's seriously so freaking hot like I'm sweating just walking from the door to the car even emmy's like it's so hot out here and she never sweats it is so so hot i cannot like oh my gosh i can't even believe it but i got a really good deal uh i didn't get everything that i wanted but i got her belts we got headbands bows galore shirts i think i got like 12 shirts three pairs of pants 
like five or six dresses on $85. Isn't that crazy? $85 is what I spent because everything was on clearance. Everything was on clearance that I got. And I did get a couple dresses for Maddie just because she, I'm planning, like I said, for next year because they were cheap. $3, you can't beat that for dresses. And I was not gonna wait till next year and not buy them. And then I did get a couple things that weren't school related for Emmy. Like a romper, I don't know if she can wear a romper to school or not. A couple tank tops that were like super cheap. But $85, like that is way below my budget that I had set for school shopping. So she's definitely not done. I do need to get a few, probably at least some more shirts, maybe a couple more pairs of jeans, stuff like that. But I cleared out Walmart. Like I looked at everything that I could look at. Right, Mama, we tried on so much stuff. <laughs> she was like more clothes we tried on she tried on probably like 30 things and so now I'll check out Target and like Old Navy maybe Carter's like just other places that I know I could still get good deals at but this was phenomenal so highly recommend checking out Walmart right now because they have a really good clearance rack so of course we're at Dollar Tree and had to get the furthest parking of life and it is so hot out here I guarantee you we're gonna be sweating on the way over there oh my gosh like we had rain for and now there's a parking up close we had rain for so long i couldn't wait for summer now that summer's here i can't wait for fall like just a little cool off i don't really care for winter too much oh my god there's a parking right up front oh winter's not my favorite favorite time of year i love fall so i can't wait till it comes around again but dollar tree here we come see i love how they still have pool stuff out Yet they have the fall stuff up on the wall. <laughs> and Halloween. Oh, makes me so happy. Oh, I like this one, Mommy. I know, that's cute. Can we get it? I don't remember what kind of Halloween decorations we have for the inside of the house. Yeah, we can pick one up. Okay, so I figured why not do a quick little Dollar Tree haul. So, I'm gonna set you guys up here, I think. None of that works, so I'm just gonna hold the camera. But I bought, let's see, that little glitter pumpkin, jack o' lantern. That I mean, to me, it's like pretty fall. I have fall decorations already, but this is kind of cool because you put a battery on. Oh no, he lights up brick. I don't know that you guys can see it, has like a red light in there. And so, yeah, we got that. And then I got a couple rolls of washi tape, or it's actually fabric. And it, this is the print of it right here. And I thought this one was really pretty pink and green. I don't think I have one like that. I got a basket for our bathroom. I want to switch the theme up from like a chocolate brown. And we have like beige color walls to, I don't know, like beige, to dark gray for the fall winter. Although chocolate brown we've had for, since we moved in pretty much. I'll probably still keep it. I do have like a burnt orange color in the closet as well, but I think I'm just gonna stick to gray. Excuse me, sorry. And they had these really nice baskets from the Essentials brand. They had all different kinds of shapes. So I got this one for the back of the toilet to put, um, not toilet paper, what am I thinking? Washcloths in, just for like decoration and stuff. So that was a dollar, pretty inexpensive. I got these little star stickers for my Etsy orders. Got a pack of these um, Plackers Gentle Slide. The, this comes with 35. Normally I buy the like 120 pack or whatever, but I haven't been able to find them at Walmart. And actually I didn't even look today. And this was only a dollar. So I like to carry that in my car for emergencies. Here's the other fabric tape. This one's black and white floral print. Super pretty. I like that especially. I don't have a neutral planner, but especially if you have a neutral planner, I think that's pretty. I got a dog collar for Dulce. His old one got kind of janky and gross, so this is a dollar, I couldn't believe it. Pretty inexpensive, and then I also picked up this welcome fall pumpkin sign. I love fall, I told you guys. And the more decorations I can have, the better. So I picked up that, it's got glitter all over it. Really pretty, I'll put that either on the front door, although it's made of like pressed particle board, so it probably won't last, but maybe the inside of the front door or something just as added decoration. I got Maddie some of these like preschool scissors. I was gonna pick some up at Walmart, but they were like three bucks. Found them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And then lastly, I got a pack of clickable pins. 
I had the pink one at work and the top fell off of it and then I lost the whole pin altogether so bought a pack for work now I'm going to run to HEB I had a couple more places I wanted to go but I am pooped it is 4 15 I need to get Maddie get home and start dinner so I'm gonna run to HEB real quick get a couple of gallons of milk maybe some bread some eggs a few things of fruit I won't be doing a grocery haul just like a few things for the house that we need to get through this week probably do grocery shopping next week I'm trying to weed out some of the stuff that we already have in the house so that we don't keep buying more and we're not cycling through the food enough you know what I mean so yeah that's what we're headed to next and then I'm gonna head it home because I'm so tired so what we have set up in here so far that's all the clothes and baby stuff that needs to be gone through and the rest friend is here to help him move that downstairs and it's gonna be the beginning of a baby room Maddie you're naked come on can I see tomorrow Hey guys, so we've been doing a lot of things around the house. Ugh. I cut stickers for about an hour just to kind of get a jump start on things for tomorrow. I printed a bunch of stuff and now I'm currently watching Wentworth and going through. Um, this is the stuff, some of the stuff I had from Maddie's, left over from Maddie's baby shower. It was a princess theme obviously because I knew she was a girl and the colors were pink and gray. So I'm taking off all of the little tags from the gray organza bags and we're gonna use them for this baby shower. And I'm just gonna put my little new tags and everything that match that are more gender neutral. So, <sighs> slowly but surely everything's coming along. I kept everything. I have um, some safety pins and some clothes pins and a bunch of jewels that I used for the silverware to decorate the silver and stuff. The colors this time are going to be gold and silver instead of yellow and green, which yellow and green is typical for a gender neutral baby shower um, usually, but I'm doing silver and gold, <laughs> which is what is on my invitation. The theme is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and it's silver and gold all on the invita invitation. And so I definitely will bring you guys along and do a whole separate video on my baby shower just like I did last time. <sighs> I am so tired and can barely breathe. <laughs> um, I feel like things are coming together, definitely. I work tomorrow, so I want to try and get up and get some stuff done. I have got to go to the library. I have freaking library books that we've had for like two weeks that I'm sure I'm going to owe at least $5 on. <laughs> like, story of my life, I swear. And then I have all the girls' school supplies sitting here and their school clothes, well, mainly Emmy's school clothes. And I want to film two separate hauls that I will put up on my vlog channel sometime. And then that way I can get this stuff out of my room. And... For the most part, the house just needs to be organized. Like there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> but we're slowly weeding through it and slowly getting stuff out to Goodwill, getting stuff over to my grandma's for yard sale and getting everything where it needs to be. It's not gonna be perfect for sure, definitely not. But as long as it's doable for me to manage and not feel like I'm trapped and consumed with crap, you know what I mean? I think it'll be fine. So, apparently my nesting is kicking in because I so wish I didn't work tomorrow because I still have a long list of stuff to do, but unfortunately I do, so it's all going to have to wait. But I'm watching Wentworth while I'm doing this, so I'm trying to multitask, and as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to hit the sack and go to bed. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and we will see you tomorrow.